Dalton's law of partial pressures deals with mixtures of gases. So we've been kind of handling gases as though they're just kind of individual things in a bottle, but most of the time the, the air in this room is actually a mixture of nitrogen and oxygen and carbon dioxide and argon and all these water vapors and various kinds of things. And so uh, what about mixtures and what about their pressures? So here's what Dalton's law says. So imagine, if you will, that we have uh, a flask containing gas A with a pressure of 10, and a gla uh, flask containing gas B with a pressure of 5. And now you somehow mix those two things into the same container, so you have gas A and B mixed together. It says here that the pressure would be 15, which makes sense because you remember that pressure is just a measure of how often these uh, particles collide with the sides of the container. When you double the number of particles in there, then you should double the uh, uh, the collisions if you add c particles. Uh, you know, whatever these are colliding, whenever you add these to them, they're still going to collide the same uh, amount. And so, and if they don't, it's because these others are in the way and they're hitting the sides. And so, overall, they're going to end up being the same. So, how do we express this as a formula? Well, first of all, the partial pressure, that's a new word, the partial pressure. The partial pressure, if you have a mixture of gases, each gas exerts its own part of the pressure, of the total pressure. We call that the partial pressure. So the partial pressure of gas A here, represented by green, plus the partial pressure of gas B here, represented in red, is going to equal the total pressure of the gases inside of the container real simple. Now if there were three or four or five gases we would have A, B, C, D, E added up to equal the total. And so one th uh, of the things we can do with this is we can find the total. More often what we would do is given that we know that the total is 15 and that gas A is 10 we would have to calculate that gas B is 5. So we'd, we actually end up subtracting to use Dalton's law more often. So what would a problem like this look like? It would look like this. We have a mixture of gases, argon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a chamber found to have the following partial pressures, yada yada. What is the partial pressure of the argon measured in atmospheres if the total pressure is 780 torr? So, how are we going to do this? Well, we look back to the Dalton's Law formula. So we say the pressure, partial pressure of each gas. So what are the different gases? Well, we have argon, so the partial pressure of argon plus the partial pressure of oxygen, plus the pres partial pressure of hydrogen, it's going to equal the total pressure. That's what Dalton's law says. And we have all of these things but one. We have the oxygen, the hydrogen, and the total. Uh, unfortunately, however, we're asked to give the answer in atmospheres, uh, even though none of our others are in atmospheres. So what we're going to have to do first we're going to have to convert all of these things into atmospheres. So uh, if you're not sure how to do that, go back to watch, watching the gas and measurement video. But uh, I will just uh, calculate those real quick here. Uh, in atmospheres, this number is 40 or 0 0.446. 0 0.446. E. Ah, 0.446. That's what that says. Uh, and in atmospheres, this 220 torr number becomes 0.289. And uh, in atmospheres, this total 780 becomes 1.03. 1.0, I suppose, given that we can only justify two sig figs. So now we go through and we plug these things in. We have these. Uh, we have these numbers, now we're going to plug them in. Pres partial pressure of argon, we don't know, that's what we're trying to find. Partial pressure of oxygen is the 0.289 atmospheres. Partial pressure of the hydrogen is the 0.446 atmospheres, and that's going to equal the total, which is 1.0. And so now i got to solve for the argon, and the way I'm going to do that is by subtracting the 0.289 from both sides, the 0.446 from both sides, and that's going to give me the answer. So the answer is going to be 1.0 minus 0.289 minus 0.446 for
for a total of 0.265, but we can only go uh, one decimal place there uh, by the rule. So the answer is that the partial pressure of argon is, that's 0.265 is what I get, uh, but we're going to round that to one decimal place because there's only one decimal place there. 0.3 atmospheres.